Hey, it's Darlene, and today I'm using this paper pad to create a one-page scrapbooking layout. I don't normally do one-page layouts, but, you know, there are some occasions where you only have a couple or one photo, but you do want to scrapbook it. So I'm starting off with, um, the first thing I did was I selected some pattern paper that I thought would go with this layout. My granddaughter is wearing a teal t-shirt so that's why I went with this teal paper and this um, white pumpkin background paper. I love that. It's so pretty. Um, I bought this pad a while ago and I you know one of those you had to have buy it um, but this is the first time I'm using it so I was determined to use it. Those small prints I used a app on my phone that um, combines or makes a collage of photos and so those are about two inches each two inch tall and they were printed on a four inch square so I knew I wanted to use those I really like using different size photos along with the four by six because it does add interest to your pages when I work with the paper pad I try to do everything you know as far as embellishments things like that with papers within the paper pad. So um, this, I'm following a sketch from Stick It Down, which I will have below in the box below. Um, and with the sketch, it was actually two rows of three circles on the top. Um, I didn't want to cut out just pattern paper for those. And that's why I decided to use these three by four cards. I'm cutting out the ones that I feel like I, I, I want to work with based on the colors and um, the words on the cards so that thankful for you uh, card with the pumpkin is what I'm thinking is going to be my title so I'm just kind of fussing putting them here and there cutting out the ones like I said I think with based on colors and and um, what's available what I like best um, the fun thing with working with the sketch is it does give you a place to start a lot of times when I look at my photos or products it most of the time for me anyways is trying to figure out exactly how you're going to put those pictures down into a page that looks um, eye-pleasing and that showcases your photos uh, sorry for the glare um, we have one of those fluorescent probably supposed to be in your garage lights in our uh, in the command center and um, it gets pretty bright matter of fact my daughter and I tease it and call it the sun um, but it's great lighting and no matter what time of the day you're in that room. So um, I do get a lot of glare, but but for the most part, you can see the, the process. Um, you can see me now. I'm just really just trying to figure out how am I putting the cards down. That one piece of paper, that blue one that had that big white pumpkin in the middle, I did cut that one, not necessarily for the pumpkin, but I wanted it for the blue. I, I really wanted some more of that navy blue to show in the paper or in the um, the layout. So I was missing one more card. Couldn't figure out one that I liked. So that's why I decided to cut a three by four piece from that pattern paper. Again, the papers in this pad are really, really pretty. I, I really love it. And I am surprised that I haven't used it yet. Originally, I was going to use Halloween paper for this these pictures. And then because of that teal in her shirt, I thought, oh, I'm definitely using this fall paper. Um, so right now I originally wanted to put those little collage pictures in that top right corner and it just wasn't working out. So that's why I decided to cut them out and I'm placing them where I think they look good. And I removed that, um, three by four card with that raccoon. Of course it's covered right now, but I decided to use a different one because I really like that raccoon and those pictures there cover it. So they had one that had that squirrel and the squirrel wasn't as cute as a raccoon. Um, I, when I chose that piece, I was going to do my journaling there. And, um, and then because I moved the photos, it was more of a spot to just put the photos. Um, right now I'm creating a little cluster of papers on that bottom, the center bottom. And that's part of the sketch as well. And I just used scraps that I had, um, that navy blue as part of the paper pad. And um, obviously that pattern paper is a piece from um, the pattern paper I used earlier. And then that little teal piece is from the, um, they had a strip on top of the, um, the cardstock. You know, when you get it, that in the paper pad. So I, when I cut that down, there was a little strip there. So now I just took everything off once I figured out my, you know, how I liked it. And now I'm just adhering them. You saw me pull out my big 
big pink ATG gun. And I've said before, no real reason except for I use my big adhesive gun for big pieces and my small adhesive um, tape runner for small pieces. I know it's silly, but that's just the way I work. Um, so I adhered all those pieces down. You didn't have to watch me do each one, but that's that's what I did with all five. I kept that one, that lower left one, not adhered because I still have to put the pictures up there and I wanted to make sure that I, it was in a good spot because I didn't want to cover any of that or as little of that card as possible. But, um, you know, once I put the pictures down or arrange them, I realized I can just put it in a normal spot because originally I was going to tilt it, um, and it ended up being, well, straight as far as straight goes. I, I don't always measure, so it may not be straight. Um, and then I um, adhere the photos down like I had originally planned, just kind of uh, stack them a little bit on each other to put that down there. And the main picture, which is four by six photo, I did decide to mat that. I thought it would look a little bit more um, singled out if I matted it. So I cut a piece of white cardstock at four and a quarter by six and a quarter and just uh, matted it, uh, centered it on there and, and placed it on there. I also decided, you know, every time I worked on it, it was straight, but then I just decided, you know, I'm going to make it a little crooked. Again, I don't always measure things, so things are probably crooked, but when you put it down crooked int intentionally, it, it, it's fine. So I, I did it a little bit more slanted than I had originally thought I would. And then I just take out my little fine point black pen and um, start writing the title or the details and a little bit of journaling on that lower uh, right card. And um, also I draw line, border lines around the pattern paper card in the middle and around the little two by two photos. You saw there that I did decide to put down that third picture. I mean, I had it. I figured I might as well use it. And I mentioned earlier that I planned on doing the journaling in that upper left journaling card. But when I put that photo there, it at that point I realized, that, you know, how much journaling can I do? We're painting pumpkins. Or they were painting pumpkins. So um, anyhow, that's, that's what I did there. Now... You see those other pumpkins there? I fussy cut those from another piece of paper from that pad, and I was going to use them, and the more I just kept looking at it, and I was moving around, and I just didn't like it. It almost seemed like it was just way too much, and that is the one thing, or at least in my opinion, with scrapbooking is you, you have to tell yourself when it's too much because, you know, we could really just pile on and pile on and pile on, and after a while, it just becomes just too much, uh, cluttered and you know, you're not focusing on the photos, and isn't that what we're trying to do? So that's why I decided not to use those after all. I did put some, um, well, you'll see these uh, enamel hearts. Um, I did put some enamel dots, and I did do a little bit of gold splatter in the corners, which you'll see me do in a little bit too. And again, on my blog, I'll have all the um, exact um, products that I use and the names and the company so if you are interested in that, please go to my blog. I will have the blog address down below. Um, and feel free to go over there and check it out. Um, if you're not a subscriber of mine, I'd love for you to be a subscriber. Uh, if you can hit that subscribe button below. Um, you can also hit the notification bell and you will be notified of any new videos that I post. I post scrapbooking videos. I also do junk journaling. Well, my junk journaling is an actual art journal. I know there's many, many different variations of a junk journal, but that's what it is to me. Um, I do... Um, I make cards. I also work on my Cricut a lot, so I'll have Cricut, um, Cricut videos as well. So I hope you like this. This is the complete thing. Um, not over overly done, but I I just love the paper. I let them really speak on behalf of those photos. I hope you like it too. Give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.